Happy New Year. We just entered the 24th year of the third millennium after year one, according to the Gregorian calendar or 2024 AD. If you are an avid reader of history or history is a topic that interests you, you must have noted that going back past year one, the years are counted in reverse. For instance, it is recorded that the city of Rome was founded in the 750s BCE and ruled by kings until 509 BCE when it became a republic. Julius Caesar became the dictator in 46 BCE and died two years later in 44 BCE. Counting upwards begins after the birth and death of Jesus Christ. But that was a later addition. The Jews had their own calendar when Jesus was born, and the Romans who ruled over them used the Julian calendar, which is slightly different from the calendar we use today. Indeed, matching events as recorded in various documents, Jesus was likely born between 3750 and 3770 in the Jewish calendar. The Jewish calendar has year one as the year of creation. The Julian calendar was modified in 1582 under the instructions of Pope Gregory VIII into the calendar used in much of the world today. It is at this point that much of the Christian touch was introduced. That includes the narrative that the calendar counts in reverse until Jesus' birth, then upwards as some sort of symbolism of his divinity. However, the actual reason BCE years are counted in reverse is more practical than religious and it is a genius solution to a quite challenging problem. But before looking at that problem and why have the years count in reverse before counting upwards, it's important to reiterate that different societies have used different calendars throughout history. Many of us today assume that the world has always quantified, counted, and recorded time in the same way. The ancient Egyptians had their own calendar, the Greeks had their own calendar, the Chinese had their own calendar, the Mayan kingdom had its own calendar, the Jews had their own calendar etc. As recent as the 17th century, England and continental Europe used different calendars, and often events were recorded with different years by the British from those indicated by the continental Europeans. Indeed, while we are in 2024, China is in year 4721. Meanwhile, Ethiopia is in the year 2017. Now, back to our question. Why are BC years counted backward in the Gregorian calendar? Designing a calendar has always been challenging especially because numerous variables must be taken care of and balanced. The most obvious problem designers of calendars have had to deal with is fitting months well within the year. This is difficult because the year adds time to rotate around the sun is not exactly 365 days. It is 365.25 days. These extra hours have been taken care of in different ways, including having more than 12 months in the calendar, adjusting days in each month, and in some cases having extra days counted outside the year. The Gregorian calendar creates a leap year after every four years, in which an extra day is added to February. The second major problem that calendar designers have had to deal with was where to start counting time. At what point do they place year one? If they choose a particular point in time to be the first year of the calendar, what happens to events that happened before that point? What happens if there is a need to date things that happened before year one? Some societies assumed a date in the past and considered it to the beginning of time. That's what the Jews did in their calendar. But it's hardly disputed today that the earth and even humans have been around for more than 6,000 years. To solve the problem of cutting off time in the past, the Gregorian calendar designers, or maybe others, devised a genius solution. They chose to pick a point in time as the first year and then started counting in both directions, just like counting positive and negative on the number line. From year one, you can count upwards to 2024 and beyond to infinity, and from year one, you can count to, you can count as far as you can go to the unknown past or to infinity. That means while there is a point where we start counting, there is no period excluded. And that is how we ended up with the years before Common Era, BCE, and Anno Domino, AD, the year of our Lord. If you found this video interesting, take a moment to strike the like button. I also welcome your comment. See you in the next video. Happy 2024 AD.